You guys are learning so much physics tonight. Okay, Q factor. What is the Q factor? The Q factor is a measure of efficiency, energy efficiency, that is used in fusion primarily. If you're trying, you're trying to get more energy out than in. They like to call it the Q factor. To me, I don't know how it's different than over unity uh, or just the efficiency in general, but they, they came up with their own term. So the reason why high temperature superconductor is so huge is because normally it takes a huge amount of energy to cool a magnet to become superconductive. Normally, they think it, you need to cool it down to like absolute zero, very, very, very low temperatures. So if you can have superconductivity at very high temperatures, then your Q factor goes way up. Now it becomes really, really, really efficient to do magical stuff, energy efficient. It becomes very energy efficient to levitate. Let's just leave it at that. Let's call it that. Hypothetically, it all of a sudden becomes extremely energy efficient to just levitate. Levitation at room temperatures. We can see levitation and magnetic locking at very low temperatures right now. Take that same effect and it's room temperature. And now you've got a hoverboard. Now you've got a hoverboard. You can put a force on it and it resists you.